Hello everybody, this is going to be a quick overview of our low pressure chromatography system that will be used for your experiments this semester and bioseparations. So first over here we have our computer that's going to record the data to produce a chromatogram from our runs. And then this is the actual low pressure chromatography system here. Down at the bottom is going to be our control screen which we'll come back and look at the features of. This is going to be our main pump in the process, a mixer for our buffers A and B, where our B and A buffer in inlets are at. This leads up to our injection valve here, which we'll look at and explain a little bit more shortly, which has an injection loop on the side, a waste outlet, and a feed to the column. And so our column gets fastened into the system right here. Right now there's no resin in here. We'll talk about the column a little bit in a second as well. And this is going to be our UV detector, as well as our conductivity meter that measures uh, the tubing right here. And then it's going to go to our outlet. So to start, we'll uh, look at the control screen. In order to turn on your system, the on and off switch is right here. For the purposes of our experiments, we're going to be staying in manual mode. Uh, which it's in right now and you can set right here as opposed to writing a method for our evolution profiles uh, As you can see in manual mode, this is where you're going to be able to edit your uh, different parameters such as a Flow of two milliliters per minute say okay, and that's how you're going to change that You can change where your buffer is coming from whether it be a B or a mix of both for our experiments We're going to be doing uh, more or less on and off chromatography and there won't be a Elution gradient, so we're just going to be using A or B for our purposes. Uh, and yeah, and so on here, when you're ready to run, you're just going to push run once you set your parameters. <clears throat> It'll give you a delay of 10 seconds in case you decide that you don't want to run, or you can just start now. When you start, in order to stop, you're going to go right here, or you can pause if you want to continue at the same settings afterwards. You can stop the run this way. And then over here, you can look at your specific settings for your UV monitor, the conductivity meter, and then look at how your valves are set up in the uh, injection valve up there. And so that is how it's going to work on the control screen. We also have our injection valve up here, which is important to understand. You're going to have your syringe that inserts your solution or sample through the side here. And so when you're filling it, you're going to want to have it on this setting. These lines right here mean that that's where uh, the liquid is going to travel in the actual valve right here. So if you inject in here, it's going to go into this line, which will hold it in what we're going to call your injection loop, which is going to hold the sample that's going to end up going into the column or be loaded onto the column which then right now in the setting, this would be going to our waste, but after you inject it and get it to the injection loop is when you're gonna move this and set it to change. So now our injection loop is gonna go to the tube that actually feeds out the back here into the top of our column. And so you're gonna wanna be able to time that correctly whenever you're ready to inject or load your sample onto the column. But the beginning, it's going to be like this so that you can fill up your injection loop with uh, whatever you're putting into this valve here. <clears throat> this leads to our column at the top. Uh, you will pack some resin in here and do some runs to qualify the column and then your actual elution experiments. Uh, this is called the O-ring right here and the stopper is gonna go at the top of our chromatography column that we pack. Uh, the main important thing to know here is that you twist this on and off to loosen and be able to move the O-ring up and down and so that's gonna be able to adjust based on your column height and what your column height wants to be. And like I said earlier, after that, you can take your UV measurement of what comes out the bottom, as well as the conductivity reading there. And the last thing we're gonna to touch real quick is on the computer. <clears throat> once you pull up the program and have a blank sheet, uh, it will automatically record once you start your run. This is from when I started just for a second to show you guys the control system on there. Afterwards, you're going to want to save that run so that you can have your results, whether in uh, AU absorbance units or conductivity, whatever you're trying to look at and what for what purpose for your experiment. And so this is the main system for our low pressure chromatography system. Thanks, guys.